Hi everyone, I'm Max from the Max Team I, and I am with the great Monsanto tonight. How are you? Hello, I'm very good. How are you? Fine, fine. And we'll have very interesting matches tonight for this round three of the Max League Six. In, uh, the first um, upcoming match is IG Shrimu. I don't know if uh, that's the way we, we have to pronounce it. Versus uh, Jimun. So it's uh, China versus uh, Japan. And then we'll have an European match uh, involving Maxi versus Yala. Uh, I guess you know the players, maybe. Yeah, maybe you know the French guy, Maxi. Uh, he went to the um, top 16 of the one of the um, previous Masters Tour, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know him like very, very well, but I've definitely heard the name. I've seen him play a couple times. Seems hmm. like a up and coming like promising player i'm, I'm looking forward to see him yeah. i also know uh some uh, shuimo has been present in a lot of high stakes tournament uh, mm. not only in china but also internationally so that's that's going to be a really interesting first match as well and we all know uh, yarla yeah. yarla is going to worlds again this year one of the best players in the world for the past five years doesn't yeah. even need an introduction It'll be very nice to see. And first of all, we'll have the, the first group, this group C. And we see that both of the Asian players, uh, Jimin and uh, Shrimu, are at 0 2 now. So they have to win. Um, it's mandatory now. You cannot uh, get to the playoffs with three losses. So you want to win now. And. Um, Maybe they're not um, uh, very um, confident of this kind of um, of format with uh, the group. You have the um, one uh, one match per per week. It's a LHS format. It's their first time in the Max League. Maybe uh, it explains why they are so uh, so low in the ranking. Yeah. Well, they got they got out of the pre qualification, right? Yeah. So, so I I couldn't even do that. So that's already <laughs> that's already yeah. a pretty big accomplishment. Also, I think they're playing in the middle of the night. So that's yeah, a yeah. Small, that that yeah. could be a small excuse as to what they're like why they're they might not have been a hundred percent in uh in their matches. Are you but, right? Uh, now it's pretty fair because they're they're both gonna be playing against each other in the <laughs> middle of the night. So anything yeah. can happen. You're right, and uh, we want to thank them for being here with us to share the game so we won't make them wait that much so we start with the first lineup it's uh, a shrimu's lineup and we will see that it's quite the same ones uh, both droots uh, have been banned so starting with the rogue a mage and a quest priest the thing. yeah um pretty standard stuff uh one thing to notice is the ping mage. Uh, ping mage is not big spell mage; it's just a normal ping mage and thirty cards ping mage. So uh, you start the game with only 30, uh, 30 life, which is not very standard mm -hmm. right now. But um, this one is a almost an aggressive deck, almost aggro. There's double frozen touch for uh, burn. There's wildfire for consistent burn with uh, the hero card. Uh, of course, if you start with 30 cards, you get the hero card more often. Yeah. But, I mean, you start the game at 30 HP. So when you don't draw the good hand, you die really quickly. That's the that's the big downside. Yeah. I've seen on um, on Twitter that, uh, that players like Free Hunter just adopt the, kind of the same list or something uh, very, um, very close. But Kurt Theotard, because they don't want to give... Uh, cards from their end to their opponent. Yeah. Theotar seems like a very good card in a tournament setting, though. I don't mm. know. In LHS, uh, if you get countered, you, you want to Theotar to maybe... Uh, um, someone tries to counter you with, um, I don't know, Rogue or whatever. You, you want to be able to steal their important cards mm. so that the counter is less of a big counter and you can get away with three wins on the mage. So I, I like playing theater, okay, uh, especially in a tournament setting. 
So, uh, once more, we have this quest priest the players like right now, and uh, at least in uh, the air chest format. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Oh, we have a uh, yonk in uh, in the thief rogue. I think it's been yeah, a while. One backstab, one uh, SI extortion, one yoink. <laughs> and those are all some of the fringe cards. Um, extortion is not as good as it used to be in that deck because mm. your nulls are going to be free every game no matter what. I I've, I don't even always keep extortion. I know that you're supposed to keep tradables, but the card is just kind of meh right now. So mm. I don't mind cutting it. Um, you could play yoink, you could play re reconnaissance, you can play... You can play backstab. There's other cards. I mean, we've even seen sprint. I don't really. Those are some of the cards that don't matter as much as long as long as you have uh, the important cards: the Knolls, the Edwin, the Maestro, the Burn, mm -hmm. the Draka, and the Graveyards. That that can pop off and kill. And the rest is like player's choice, comfort picks. I don't mind it. <laughs> okay, so his opponent is bringing. Quite the same as we said before. Um, it's only a uh, different mage because uh, it's a uh, Nixel version. Um, but yeah. we have the Quest Priest, the Druid, and the Rogue. Quite the same, but no Yonk this time. And only one copy of Sinister Strike. Yep. Yeah. So the Rogue, again, you change a little bit. It brings two copies of uh, Reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little bit more juice a little bit more um board but in the end it's almost the same thing the big difference i think to me is yeah in the mage where uh they brought the same archetypes except for the mage which has an extra 10 cards and an extra 10 health at the start of the game mm -hmm. i i like that a little bit better there's also um this is the heavier build with runes of the arc mage keltos sire denatrius keltuzad mordrash all of the all of the huge cards, huge finishers for the end of the game. And that deck, I think, has proven to be really difficult to beat when piloted uh, when piloted well in tournaments, especially in LHS format. I wouldn't be surprised if he could run away, run away with the series with just that one deck. Okay, and we'll see that in a few seconds because we are giving the prayers the go now so jimon preparing to battle a friend it's okay you can start good luck good luck to the okay. player and we move. yeah okay we are on the uh on the asian server right now we have jimon at the bottom of the screen and we move at the top of the screen and we'll have both cameras right now. Okay, preparing to battle a friend. And uh, if you love druids, you have to wait for the next BO because the druids won't be banned to be rogue. We've seen we've seen a lot of druid. Wait, we can leave place for other classes. It's okay. <laughs> um, I mean, we've seen a lot of those classes. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't seen any paladin, any warrior, or uh, very few demon hunters. Uh, meta has been pretty, uh, pretty imbalanced in terms of which classes are playable and which classes are not. Hopefully, the if there's nerfs soon, that might change things a little bit. Well, we all have to see. But it's still a very high skilled meta, I believe, and. Uh, I think good players got rewarded for not only bringing good lineups, but playing playing the decks well. 40 cards decks, they make the games longer. Some people would say it's a little bit more boring. But I I do believe that if the game is longer, you have more turns. And when there's more turns in a the game, there's more opportunity to make mistakes. And then the better, play mm. on, better player will come up on top uh, a little bit more. So okay, St starting right now. Starting okay it's the first time i'm spectating on asian server i had to make the the uh, uh, the training and, uh, and so on <laughs> to, let, uh, to let the the game 
let me spectate players. If you don't do the tutorial, you don't have, you are not granted to spectate players. Okay, we have the thief at the bottom and we have the mage at the top. Oh, the heroes are pretty. Yeah. And I lied uh, about not seeing paladins. We see some occasional paladin hero for the first one, two, or three turns of a game, as we can see now. So we don't need to, no, no need for balance. Actually, I, I lied. See, we, we got a paladin. <laughs> paladin is pretty good. It's pretty rare, but it happens. Same as warrior and demon hunter. They happen the exact same amount of time. I really like this uh, hero portrait here. From the paladin. Very good. Yeah, it looks really cool. And we have the Gnoll starting end. And we have also the Necrolos Draca, but can we do that much with uh, all the expensive card? Because in this deck, a uh, three mana card is an expensive, expensive one. Yeah. Um, I, I really, love, I think both players' hands are really, really good right now. Timon's gonna choose to not coin a shroud here. Shroud is one of the best cards to have in your opening hand, and so is Edwin. So Timon's gonna have access to all of his minions, um, which is. Really good. Choosing to take it slow, save the coin for a pop-off turn rather than coining a shroud to put two nulls in play. Um, I think it was pretty close there, but I respect it. Shwimu heading this frost spell with the Dungeoneer. Getting a head on board already as the mage. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this 30 card uh, mage is going to be pretty good at contesting the board early. Because it's you get your early cards more consistently, so that's that's gonna be interesting. And do, do you think that uh, with this version, um, you have all the um, the tools to uh, to freeze your opponent to deal with the board, especially with a uh, high um, high level minions board? Yeah, uh, I mean the fr the mage has almost uh, all of the all of the freeze cards of the all the same cards as the 40 card mage for freezing uh shrimu all even includes the solid alibis in there so mm. um and he gets them more consistently because he's only running uh 30 cards so I, I believe it's even more consistent at freezing the opponent's board i think he's only not okay. running blizzard but blizzard is not a great card most of the time so i like that Okay. Okay, what will it be? Yeah, we have this frozen touch that has been infused. Okay. And also have this uh, location involved in our board. Okay. Yeah. I think you're, you're mic. Are, are you near your microphone? It's kind of uh, semi cutting a lot of words. Going kind of weird. I, don't know. I I can hear most of the things though, but it's just I don't know if you're using the right microphone or if you're um <clears throat> you're a little bit away from it or something. Okay, Edwin is here. So oh, Edwin in play and some good draws off the top. And he can play that one as well. Man, yeah. that's a pretty big add one pretty early in the game. Also, I love mm -hmm. Jimin's decision to just play the nulls last turn. And we've seen people holding on to nulls for way too long, in my opinion. Well, when they're free, I, I just like having them on board as soon as possible. Okay. So, okay, first of all, we draw second solid alibi here and buy two more turns with that. Yeah. Is, I don't see much play. else to do there. There's so mm, much pressure. No, for it's, now. Only turn, it's only on turn four, but she might put enough pressure mm. to force a solid alibi already. Yeah. True is not going to be very happy with that, but 
Maybe he finds tools to deal with this later. Now Jumon has to take a turn very slow. Not much to do here. Maybe drawing a card, maybe daggering. You can draw... Yeah. Shroud doesn't draw a single card right now. Just wondering if he's going to play this door for one mana. Seems like he won't. That makes sense. If his board dies a little bit, he can get a copy of a card with door. So holding on to it seems reasonable. Hmm. Okay. Is it down? Uh, okay. You're, you're afraid this one, of course. Is it maybe a reckless apprentice into pink? I like it a lot. I. He could also go for the four mana uh, cold case here. I'm sure that's what he's hesitating. Um, I like the reckless. It's pretty pretty good clear. You leave up a three one and a and the other one. Mm. You know how big how big of a turn can Gmon have here? Uh, I think he would hope to get a bigger turn than that. Like. As it stands, he can make a 3-3 weapon. Which is not super impressive. No. Maybe he gets a prep here? Prep would be insane. Shadow Step. Oh, that's just as good. Okay, so now this turn is good enough to probably put him in a dominating spot in the game. Let's see. Oh, and perfect RNG with the Galatin for Gmon as well. He's going to be really happy with that turn. That turn was not guaranteed to go well for him. But it really is going as good as he could have hoped for. What is that, an 8 attack dagger? Setting up lethal. Um, yeah. That's just a little very, lethal very, out, of, out of nowhere from hand. Like, even if the yeah. board didn't exist. So, very good use of the, uh, the cards here. He's forcing out another alibi, and Shwimu is going to have to, what, draw the hero card for another alibi? He's not even guaranteed to get the alibi. Is he? Mm. Definitely not if he plays the cold case here. Okay. Okay. Like this. The second turn must be bound. And then what? Yeah, it's uh... So you can go face with your minions here. Push some damage. Do you even have to? So if you don't go face and there's no more alibi, next turn you have 8 with your dagger, and from hand you have 2 tooth and a wicked stab. Mm. How much is that? That's another 10? You have 18 opponents... Shroomo is at 15. Um, I kind of like still going face. No, put him to okay. 13. If there's a, a hero card or something, some armor, Yeah. maybe he can still get there. So, yeah, I like that. No reason to play a card here. Oh, you could go face with your weapon to push one extra. You're not going to need the 16 damage from your weapon this game, so I really don't mind if you decided to go for a... Uh... It seems like a waste, but okay. Decides not to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so what now? Yeah, Mordresh, but... Dying yeah, too? Yeah, uh, Mordresh is a, a bait. Definitely, he wants to... He would rather freeze the face with the... The elemental there. Mm. Is that enough? Can he survive on board? I mean, on board he definitely can. I think he, I think he can survive this turn. Actually, right. with, with the, the frozen play. touch. Yeah. The problem is he like surviving one turn if he doesn't set up lethal of his own. That's that's just gonna delay the inevitable. Mm. Right. So how do you? He really wants to use the frozen touch to go face and end the game, but if he does so, he's gonna die. To just a bunch of burn. So it's really it's really tough turn for Shwemo. I don't know how he's gonna approach this. I, I really like that. He's gonna die as a result. Unless unless he gets a trade here. 
You know what? If he trades, he's alive at one. Knowing uh, Gmon's face. Okay, now he's alive at four. Okay. You know what? Maybe we still have a game. Maybe. Hmm. Let's, see. Let's see what's in there. More damage oh. with the Moonbeam. Yeah. Two. Not quite a lot. The other two are not too interesting. Uh, you could Freezing Trap the two, too, I suppose. That's something to consider. That prevents more damage than killing it, because it doesn't get the Death Rattle. Maybe you're just saying, I'm going to have lethal pretty much guaranteed no matter what. So I'll just freezing trap the Tutu to prevent dying for, from some crazy stuff. But there's no crazy stuff, I believe, that would be crazy enough. Oh, Reconnaissance. That's a good place to play that card, I believe. You don't have much else to do. You're just waiting. Maybe get a taunt or something. Nope. Oh, we can still do it. Okay, just making a big stealth minion. That also okay. makes a ton of sense. It has to be, uh, to right. be bigger than 10, would it be? It's a 7-7. Seven, 7-7, seven. Seven, seven. so it dies on Mordrash. Yeah, but if Mordrash, if there's a Mordrash, you win. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, this one, this one is good as well. Yeah, but, but in both cases, freeze. you need to, uh, mm. if he wants to win, he needs to play Finley here, which is a little bit counterintuitive when you can just Mordrush, but, yeah, the Finley's not, you needed to Finley first, mm. and get Varden into Solid Alibi. That was his way to potentially win, knowing both players' hands, obviously. Which Wimo didn't know his opponent's hand, and he went for the, the correct play, I believe. Didn't pay off. That was a really good hand, really well played by Jimon. And he gets the win with the rogue. Yep. And the mage falls. 30 card mage. And we could see that with the <laughs> if he had uh and just an extra maybe 10 life at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't know if the rogue gets there. If the, with the same draws, obviously. You don't get as good of draws when you run 40 cards, but the rogue got there pretty it was pretty close, you know? Like, he wouldn't have been able to deal 10 extra. So, at yeah. least not right away. Okay, so now he has to choose between his Quest Priest and his own Rogue. Yeah, uh, the reason to bring Quest Priest is to counter the Rogue, so... That's, that's just definitely what he's going to go for. And yeah. Quest Priest is pretty good at countering Rogue, but the matchup is not, um, it's not as one-sided as some people might think. Uh, I believe that the Rogue can definitely get there. So looking at uh, Shwimu's Priest, he's got, what, two Shadowward Ruins, two Clean the Scene, two Light Bomb, and two World Bull. So all of the removal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just don't draw the right removal. For instance, if you don't draw if you don't draw a clean the scene, and your rogue opponent makes two nulls on turn two, and then keeps playing four fours with the location, you might just die on turn five without just having a chance to clear anything. So it's not about making huge boards of huge minions that just get light bombed or shadowward ruin. I think the mid size, like the three five nulls and the four fours from location, is really what you're gonna try to go for. And the game pretty quickly, also. Okay. I guess I'm um, uh, asking if they have to wait. No, you can go, guys. You can go. And I guess we. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, it's starting. It's the first time of a stream on the, um, the Max TV. Yeah. We, we are the previously uh, Jimon. Once or twice, remember? Okay. Nothing has been kept. And as I said, it's the quest priest. Yeah. Ooh, uh, this priest is... A... A... I'm wondering if he's going to keep the quest. We've seen a lot of people throw away the quest against the rogue. Mm -hmm. um, and don't know enough about quest priests 
to decide myself whether or not it's worth keeping the quest, but we'll see what Shweemo thinks about it. Um, That's a zero. I, I guess he's playing um, room. Shadow World, Shadow World Room, yeah, twice. Okay. Yeah, he okay. threw away the quest looking for uh, early removal. That makes sense. Makes yeah, sense I like it. I want those hero portraits. I want it. Just give it. Yeah, they, they look really good. Give it Blizzard. I agree. I want it in Europe. Which one's just gonna ping there? Trace is, with double null in hand. I wouldn't have minded just jamming an all on board here. Mm. Playing another one next turn. Mm. Do you think he wants to add them at zero and on yeah. four play uh, Draka just now? I think you want a bigger Draka, and you want to sit. You want to synchronize Draka turn uh, alongside a graveyard, and you want the graveyard to be on board already when you go for the Draka okay. turn, so that uh, at the same time as making a huge weapon, you make a huge threat. Mm -hmm. And Therese can deal with one of them, but not both. I like, like it. Like not play a taunt for the weapon, clear the board, but then the weapon hits face again, something like that. But okay. um. I, I like I said against priests. I want to go for like mid-sized minions, and I, I think playing a, a null on two and a null on three would have been just perfectly fine. This is a little bit slower, and you're basically saying I'm gonna make a huge turn there, and I hope the priest doesn't have the answer for it. But the priest usually has the answer for it. Okay. Yeah, the Again, the priest hand though, there's not that big of an answer for it. There's Zirella, but the only healing he can do is on his own face. Yeah. Not hmm. much for now. I wonder if he's going to be one off killing the taunt there. Uh, not the taunt, the stealth minion. We'll see. Okay, so. Yeah. Here, yeah. Actually, what I would like. Oh, go ahead. If you if you want to um to go now for the the combo, why do you play the door of shadows first? Oh yeah, it's infused. It's not um combo. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not a, a I'm not a priest player. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he goes he goes completely all in. Saying, I go for like one big pop off turn. And I hope you have nothing. Yeah. Um, and he does. Shrimo does not have as much as you would expect from a quest priest at this point. And like I said, so the weapon is one smaller than the than the stealth minion, which mm. means that the Zirella can't heal enough. If the weapon was an eight attack weapon, the Zirella could heal enough because he could heal his own face by yeah. eight, but he can only heal by seven. So yeah, the Zirella is going to be one off killing the stealth minion. Which I don't think is a big deal. I think he's gonna be just fine. He's gonna take this damage. He's gonna take fifteen. He's at forty. And then what? Then that's that's pretty much the whole damage he's gonna be taking this game. Okay, the trade here. Oh, recon. Okay. okay. Not playable this turn, unfortunately. Probably like the Mida Pure Light, I guess. Okay. But yeah, you go face for 15, you lost the board pretty much for the rest of the game. Yeah, from from now it will be uh, difficult. Did that uh, we have the uh, Light Shower Elemental? But then if so, and, and, and Vulgin as well. Oh, that's from now. Okay, All right. Good. I was like, I don't want no shenanigans here. Whatever you got from reconnaissance, you're not you're not getting to play it. That works too. I would have I would have gone for the safe light shower elemental, but that that works. Everything works at this point. Mm. Oh wow! Looking for Rune okay. Arcane. 
That's not Runes of the no. Iron Age. No. None of no. these do anything. I, I get this. This game will be very quick. From now on. Well, if there's a conceit, it's going to be over quickly. If there's no conceit, it's going to take another probably seven to eight turns. <laughs> the Priest is not known for ending games quickly. Yeah, but as the rogue, do you think that you you won't uh, concede because you okay, like, you, you don't have cards. Well, so some people some people are real fighters, you know. Some people yeah, yeah. won't concede, and right. uh, you know, all good for them because if you never concede, some sometimes you're gonna get extra wins that people who no. concede won't get. Mm. Not often, but if you're like once or twice a year. Because I didn't concede I won an important game, then <laughs> it's for you, you know? Good for you. But Jimon is not gonna keep playing in that completely unwinnable game, and yeah, that, that makes a ton of sense. Decides to counter the priest with his mage. That's the mage I was talking about. I think that's the best deck out of the out of both players is the deck that's is likely to do the most damage. And we see Wildfire in the opening okay. hand. He's going to be looking for his hero card, and if he can get that, it's going to be really hard for Quest Priest to compete. Mm. No hero card yet. For now. No hero card for now. This time, you keep the quest. Yeah, because against Mage is a slower matchup. It's not about finding answers for the one big turn it's about winning a long game and it, you can't win on board because mage is too good at controlling the board so the way you win is completing the quest as fast as possible yeah. it's going to be looking for a mage secret here can't find it oh that's unlucky yeah you want to add a three mana card yeah do, do you think it, do you think that volgin can make something in this game maybe to get rid of uh sire dinathias only uh, yeah, it's possible. With all the, um, the battle cry. Oh, you have the okay. three. Very good draw by Shuimo. You definitely go for the three mana card here. Yeah, in this type of matchup, as the mage, I uh, as the priest, sorry, I just want to complete my quest no matter what. If it's turn four and I have two five fives on board and my only way to complete the quest is Shadowward Ruin to kill my own five or two five fives on board and yeah the only can mm. thing i can play is shadowward rune i'm i'm playing it i just want the quest to be over as soon as possible He's gonna go for tempo coining the spirit guide that also can give him uh shadowward ruin mm -hmm. when it dies so that, that's pretty good pretty bad hand for jimon i guess he's gonna try to draw more cards here yeah because blizzard and solid alibi are Pretty much completely dead against uh, against a deck like Quest Priest that doesn't even try to kill you with their board. Like, I can freeze your board or I can prevent it from attacking my face, but that's not even in yeah. Shumu's plan. <laughs> Shumu doesn't care. Shumu, Shumu can trade the 7 4. If Shumu disconnects and forgets to attack with a 7 4, that will not impact the outcome of the game. <laughs> that's, not, um, that's not the type of deck he's playing. And we have the wool combo in and air for Jimmy. We have the Bran, the Cal, and Dinathias. But oh, you have to true. kill minions. That's very true. Uh, Trimo is going to draw two cards whenever Jimon spends all of his mana. Mm -hmm. He's also going to draw two cards whenever the Spirit Guide does, but Mage is not very good at killing stuff. Mage can freeze stuff just fine, but killing stuff, it's almost impossible for Jimon to kill the 7 6 here. So he's not even in danger of overdrawing. Jimon was about to snap play this Prince Renathal, but <clears throat> now he's thinking about it. Does he want to give the two draws to Shuimo, or would he rather just play a solid alibi here just to prevent the draw on the other side? And I would like him to prevent the draw on the other side. I think you've seen clearly that, yeah, Trimo is okay. really looking for a 4-drop right now, and you don't want to facilitate that. Oh. oh. But it, it just doesn't matter. 
that's the way you uh, you draw when you play quest priest if you want to win he still turns late though but <laughs> i guess that's acceptable minion or spell here has been a minion that makes sense 40 cards decks can't run too many spells because there just aren't that many good spells in any class. Mm. So most cards in any 40 card decks is, are going to be minions. Oh, it took the, the six. Okay, yeah, the... <coughs> He's already got the five, the six, and the seven. Yeah, but the, the, the five is not that easy to play if you open it. cannot get on board. Um... If there's if there's nothing good to Volge in next time, you can just go for the six. And the turn after you yeah, Volge right? whatever whatever is on board if you don't have a better five. Like I said, it's all about completing the quest. Even if you don't use their cards to their full potential, mm. completing the quest is really priority number one. Okay. Alright. Hero card off the top here. Nope. Very uh Shimon's gonna be very sad to not see that Varden. Or that Magister Downcrasp. Okay, this one. Okay. There are minions to feed the Denathria. Yeah, not too bad. And I like that he's not giving the draw. The draw from the Rogue Secret. Not mm. spending all of his mana. Spending all your mana is usually good, but in that scenario, when you can afford not to, I really like that he's being a little bit... Uh, he's being cautious, not giving his bone too much draw. I like that. And with all that, uh, Shumu had to play card from his end from previous turn. Uh, the Condemn, Void of a Draw. Mm -hmm. um, you have the Spirit Guide. Guide, the Spirit Guide. Oh, and he hits the Sire. Oh. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's a huge deal. Oh. First combo dead. Okay, Jimon now desperately needs to get the hero card as soon as possible. And then he doesn't have the alternative win condition now of just like having a bunch of minions die. Not that it was very reliable against Priest, but it's something he could have been hoping uh, hoping for. But now there's just now he needs the hero card and he needs to level up his hero power as much as he can as soon as possible. Mm. Without that, he's just not going to be able to race against the priest quest. And we can yeah. see now, Shimo has a six mana card, the seven mana card, and the eight mana card. So, um, and if he loses, he loses to this uh, quest priest, then we'll have a mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what? Maybe. You want to trigger um spirit guide that's it all yeah i like the zirella your hand is pretty empty so you can mm -hmm. yeah to draw the quest reward i think it could be good yeah. okay the board is on the priest side So it can draw two. But now it doesn't care of a drawing. Yeah, oh, and he gets face. it. Okay, that's that's so important. Okay, the mage that now is insane. in the game. Player two has entered, has joined the game. <laughs> you have to just jam it now. And ping. Start pinging. That's the only way you can... You can even remotely compete in this game. So okay, replay. Okay. AI is good. Wildfire is good. Wildfire. Blizzard oh, is good. Blizzard is good as well. Alright, okay, you're paying a 4 health minion here. Oh, okay. Oh, if he pings the Light Shower Elemental, I believe that uh, that would leave... Okay. I thought that would have left the um, Spirit Guard at 6 HP, which could have been... A pretty easy way to get a 6 damage mm. ping next turn. Oh, that also works, though. Because now the Okani... Oh, no, the Okani's mm. at 7. Oh, interesting. The mill here is pretty irrelevant. 
no big deal. It's also burn of cards, but you cannot play your Xibrella now. Because you will draw before getting the, the reward of the quest. Yeah, Don't I mean, he that. could now, but he could yeah. because he hasn't played a 7, so he wouldn't yeah. build the quest at least. But he has a whirlpool, so I don't know what he's going to do here. Definitely between Mutinous, Whirlpool, and Zirella. Um, whirlpooling your own board here seems pretty pretty bad. Mutinous definitely feels like the play that feels best, because you don't destroy your own board, and that's cool. Or you don't just overdraw your deck. Okay, yeah. I kind of like that. You might be forced oh. to... Oh, but that's 6 HP, but he can... Oh, so two minions land at 6 HP on his own side of the board. Which really... Uh, which is really, really bad. Because now the Mage Hero Power gets buffed up once more. And there's nothing he could do about it. That's tragic. Yeah. For Shui Mo. One more card. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered, because now he drew Wildfire, so... He can even level on the seven health minions. Yep. And I guess we're, we're definitely going to see that. Brand Reckless. And Pink Face. Okay. Does that set up, does that set up Lethal already? So it's uh, 16 plus 9 is 25. It, it doesn't quite set up Lethal unless uh, he draws Mordrash or another Reckless Apprentice. But. I mean. Look at how fast this turned around. Yeah, you were at 40 with and yes. now you're at 15. <laughs> facing 9 damage hero powers on the other side. Oh, the Whirlpool here is insane. Destroys the other Reckless Apprentice in uh, Jumon's deck. Which means the only out, the only out he's going to have for more damage now is Mordrush. And now the quest reward is in hand for Shuimo. So in 2 turns of time, there's a pretty realistic chance that he can get... Uh, with the Strive in the Shadows, he can win the game. So will he have the time? I believe it's it's so close. I think if he gets it from the Thrive in the Shadows, he's more likely to win than he is to lose. At this point. No Theotard to, uh, no Theotard to disrupt the quest in any way. My past cannot change. Yeah, Gmon's just going for Tempo Kalthos. Yeah. Uh, why not? Doesn't have any uh, more minions to play with in case of Mordresh. Mm -hmm. Not very okay. relevant to keep. And yeah, now you don't try to beat Mordresh. You lose to Mordresh, but that's. I mean, you have to live with that. You just you just go quest reward and you try to draw it. Mm -hmm. The taunt is really good there. It prevents the 4 7 from hitting face, and Mage doesn't have reliable ways to clear it. Oh, it's now. Oh, and he never. found it. Alright. That was very important. Oh, and he oh. got back to Mordrash. Oh my god, this oh. was. Oh, this was so clutch. Gmon drawing the. Drawing the Magister John Grass at the exact turn. Where at the last turn where it was possible to come back, and then drawing the Mordrush at the exact time where he needed it. No. For a clutch victory there. Some very, very good timely draws on Jumon's side to give him the win there. <laughs> but, twice. Yeah, that's hard stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, and only Rogue for uh, Shimu. Get rid of two decks. Yeah, now Shuimo's Shri in trouble. Uh, this was so close to it. It's heartbreaking for Shuimo to just... Like, you finish the quest. Yeah. You draw it. Everything went perfectly. You just need one thing not to happen, and it just happens. The top deck on, on the Mordrush there. But yeah, that, that's where you... Like, that's that's a perfect game to showcase the power of that Mage Hero card. That, I believe, is very likely getting nerfed uh, in a short in the near future it's just it went from nothing right there's nothing to do the point was at 40 and you were just like playing really really bad cards and trying to stall and then the hero was drawn and three turns later 40 damage 
probably more more so like 55 damage was dealt to the face which just with that hero power it's insane all right next game okay. it's been going oh drawing drawing for two here with this uh shivering sorceress on one we have the theotar would it be oh yeah it could be relevant that's yeah, a, um... that, that's a that's a fantastic hand for gmon here mm -hmm. on the other side there's a location, but a single location, one big minion, usually not enough to beat the, especially the forty card mage. Do you try I, the third out here? Yeah, you gotta try it before it's too late. Yeah, and you don't have you don't have great alternatives. Reckless Apprentice is okay. It puts pressure, but yeah, I, I like that. I just... Okay, so what would it do? You take oh. the prep. Oh, I guess you give back Finley. Yeah, yeah, sure. I want to trade that too. Too, yeah. I want those one one uh one one freezers to stay on board. It's really annoying when you're trying to make a draka and your face is frozen. A Shwemo here with the. Oh wait, what did he take? Oh, he took a wicked stab. Yeah. I thought he was going to take a prep there. Yeah, I was thinking about the prep as well. Like, imagine if uh, if Shrimo had an Edwin in hand. You just missed the Edwin, but there's an Edwin in hand. And, like, you would have coin and double prep. Mm. You know, also, yeah. Sen was, he decided it was too bad. He wanted Finley. I very good. I that a lot. He's still okay. a shaman. Yes. <laughs> Okay, but not for long. A shaman playing no locks makes sense. Yeah, sure. Okay, you have you have to stop here. being a shaman. Stop role playing. You, you gotta. <laughs> Serrated bone spike here. Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta do something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's I, have a, a you... he has a, I don't know how good the APM is. If you're from China, you're playing on APAC. It's probably it's probably good. But yeah, you have you have to. Did he get everything off? I hope he got the minion. Because the minion pressing the button on the location is the last thing you do in, in the turn. Did he get it off? Yes, I guess it's not mad on uh, on the cam, so I guess I, I get the time. Okay. Yep. But then ten. Yeah, so that was a turn. It was a good turn, don't get me wrong, but he's out of stuff. He needs oh. to draw Edwin now if he wants to do anything relevant for the rest of the game. Oh, and you start to, to freeze. Yeah, Next look turn at the you amount freeze. Of yeah. The amount of freezes available is. There's, and so there was that flurry, there's a solid alibi. There's Blizzard and there's Magister Dongrasp who's going to replay replay one of those. And there's going to be more off the top because that's just what the deck does. It pre just prevents your opponent yeah. from doing anything. Freezes the board, prevents them from hitting your face for more than one. Oh, I know. Pretty annoying have, deck to play against. Have the Drekka. But not much to play. Yeah, uh, this, that Shroud Laster and missing out on the Edwin. That was... That was really sad. No, I start with this. Oh, there's a chance the 10 8 can attack. If you go, okay. <laughs> I went for Blizzard. If it went Flurry on the 1 1 and the 3 2, mm. maybe we, we had a chance on the rogue side. Okay, just. Uh, oh, there's the other one. There is hope. Here, but. Uh, yeah, we saw that um, both preparation at uh, the bottom of the deck now. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit of an underwhelming Edwin. No more Shadow Step either. Okay. Okay, only yeah. one drops. Yeah, that's, that's about as good as he could have hoped for. Because we knew there was no Shadow Step or no prep that was mm -hmm. available there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm struggling to see that get there in the end. 
and a Grace Age parrot. Oh Even yeah, more it, freezes. It, Why not? it's um, it's Blizzard, I guess. Yep, that card is Blizzard, but he has he has he has options. He doesn't even he doesn't need to go for Blizzard. He can. He can sell an alibi. Oh. Can he can he level his hero power here? By any chance? Seems difficult. Okay. Oh yeah, you can. This? Of course. I like that. Do you even freeze if you're gonna play Salt Alibi? You don't. No. Right? Only to make a two-two, but it's not uh, not interesting here. Yeah. You're thinking. I mean, next turn you have Blizzard, so in two turns is when you're gonna have to freeze. Oh, he does. And in two turns, it's going to be available, so I don't mind it. Okay. If he didn't have access to that Grace Age Parrot for a Blizzard, though, I would have liked to hold on to the Freeze, but mm. he, he's fine. He's doing just fine. He can afford to get that 2-2, maybe some face damage with it. That's perfect. Uh, oh, sorry. No problem. I unmuted the, the stream. Okay. Prep. Yeah, maybe. With the prep to activate Draka, but you know that. Uh, of. It's the yoink. What you're looking for there? Armor up. <laughs> oh, he's making. Okay. Reporting for duty. Okay. Are we making yes. a 4 3 dagger? Or is it getting better? This is kind of sad. Yeah. He's saying it's going to get better. I'm not sure how it's going to get better than the 4-3 dagger. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the yeah, the damage is piling up. Frozen, frozen again. And lo look at Jimon's hand, right? There's Blizzard ping into Reckless, Reckless ping. That's 16 yeah. damage already. Or wait, is it already lethal next turn? With Reckless, can... Reckless deals 4, the second one deals... Six and then six. Yeah. Right. Oh, and oh. Uh, it's over. Four damage. So. Uh, it's, it's over. Gonna be game. That is going to be game. It's been and a man. very, very uh, tough uh, night for Shimu. Yeah, well, that Mordresh top deck, I think, is what really. Um, uh, I think uh, without that Mordresh top deck, uh, Shimu was in the perfect spot to win the series. Mm. But I mean he, he would have had to win a priest mirror, but that's that's very doable. Oh. But now it's Yeah. A little bit of luck on Gmon's side on the card draw, but very well played also. I think it was well played by both players. For the most part, very well played series. High level stuff. We love to see it. And yeah, just like that. It was a pretty quick series, too. The, both players were playing no. lightning speed. And like they were playing very slow decks, but they were playing so fast. Uh, it didn't take uh, too long. And Gmon, congratulations, goes, uh, gets the win. Gets a win on the board. I think now he's at one and two. So he's, his hopes are still alive, as opposed to Shwimo, who's uh, doing pretty badly now, unfortunately for him. Okay, I'm gonna ask the, the players if they want to join us for a little interview. So, okay, we have Shimu. I'm trying do they to. Speak, uh, do they speak English? Uh, they, they will have to because I don't speak uh, either Chinese or Japanese. Yeah. Oh, okay. so we won't have Shimu. He said yes, but uh, then he said, oh no. <laughs> He doesn't, uh, doesn't want to speak in English, no problem. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't... No problem. Yeah, I, if, I if they don't speak good no, English, no problem. Like understandable. Die. Thank you for having played this early. OK. 
okay, no problem. Okay, okay, so we won't have the interview. It's been a while that we won't do it. Doesn't, we don't have the, the interview, but it's no problem. Uh, okay, hello, Max and Monsanto, how are you? We are fine, we are fine, thanks. Hello, Ezio. It's me uh, from the future. Okay. <laughs> yes, we are in 10 minutes in the future. Uh, so we are going there. There, we're back. Okay, I'm going to make a little change. I'm going to um, tell the next players that they have to prepare themselves. 3-1, uh, um, I'm giving you the go on a stone in a few minutes. And for Maxi, 3-1, je te donne le go sur stone. Donc, Okay, so uh, the first one will be Maxi from Frame Plus, and then we have Yala from Czech Republic. There's a class as well. Okay, like this. Like this, and may you're welcome. Thank you, Trim. Yeah, uh, we are very grateful for the Asian players to have, been, to have been here with us so early for them. It was 4 a.m. for them, so very, very, very happy. Uh, it was a very high-level uh, match for a 4 a.m. match, I'll say that much. Um, no. I've had to play tournaments in the middle of the night before, and it's not easy. Um, even as a gamer, I'm used to having really bad sleep schedules, but when it's that bad, it's like, you're not on top of your game. And that's probably why they were playing so fast as well, is mm. uh, when it's the middle of the night, your brain is not great at thinking hard on and on long and difficult turns. So you try to play fast and rely on your autopilot. And if you've been playing the game a lot, you can play <laughs> in your sleep. It's fine. Your autopilot right. is good. And I believe they they offered us a very high level uh, match of Hearthstone, and with uh, good one. good draws from the right. <laughs> very good. Yeah, you, you want getting there uh, in a mage versus priest. That's what you imagine the Dongrash at the perfect moment into the Mordrash top deck that he was going to lose the game if he didn't. Like at that point in the game, it was a one and probably mm. like it was probably a one in twenty five to win, and he just gets it off the top. Yeah, but oh, we, we have to remember that uh, Shrimu had very good draws for his quest priest as well. He draws the 3-on-3, three three, the 4-on-4, four four, yeah. and uh, he had the 5, the 6-in-hand, 7-8. the, six hand, seven, the eight. When you play quest priest, uh, it's not like that uh, uh, <laughs> all the time. You can trust me. Um, okay. okay, for the second match, we'll have Maxi from France versus Yala from Czech. Republic, both of them are at 1 1 in the group B that we are seeing right now. As you say, uh, as you see, a no end gamer and Buni upper at, at uh, 0 2. And Dimitri Krasov, a W stone from China, are uh, ahead in this group. Uh, okay, for the lineups, we have Maxi bringing a druid, a priest, a charge warrior. And uh, Sif Rogue. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the spicy one right there. This Charge Warrior. Yeah, uh, I like it. I uh, like it. Are so you using the new location for Warrior, the Sanguine Deaths, to get some draw with the Acolyte of Pain? And also, instead of Mr. Smythe, we can see a Gromish Hellscream to get, like, as another yeah. Charge Minion. And with the location, it's it's a 12 attack Charge Minion. So I, it's going to be interesting. I mean, yeah, we want to see that. Not, uh, it's probably not a good ladder deck, but for LHS, it's, it might be a great counter to uh, something like Phylactery Warlock that Yala has. Uh, yes, I'm not, I'm not it, sure it what it's like perfect, but I'm looking forward to seeing that deck in action. Um, and um, the location from, from the, the Warrior are the cheapest ones. Uh, only one mana locations okay yeah. and, double uh, slime, double batch you just 
put all the cards that were unnerfed or buffed. Shield Shatter, yeah. obviously Shield Shatter, but that's, that, that's, uh, that's very interesting. And as we I, said, I'd, I'd be happy to see that deck get a win. As we said before, the both rogues are, uh, have been banned. So we have Bo Priest as well and Ramp Druid. Druids okay. are pretty conventional. They both run Mutinous in their Druids, so hmm. maybe trying to beat other Druids or... Oh, we have uh, Zola and uh, Maxis Druid. Not even more greed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, no, I don't mind it. Okay, okay, interesting. Actually, so, Zola, I do mind it. I don't <laughs> I don't like Zola at all. It's too slow. Yeah, do, do, do you want to Zola Celta, maybe? As I yeah, said, it, I, it's I very slow. It yeah, it, it is very slow. Um, okay, well, we can... Just, uh, go ahead. We will uh, ask um, Maxi about the, this um, big tech cards. And after the after the game, so uh, during the interview. Okay. Okay. Then um, let's take a look to Yala's lineup. Just here, um, and we know that is playing a uh, Philactelli Warlock. Has been here uh, on previous round and playing this Warlock very well. Um, and it chose to have this Miracle Rogue, so it's the um, the Shark version. Of the rogue, oh, but yeah. we won't see it um, tonight. And yeah. uh, a place as well, the big spell mage, not the um, the spooky mage, or the um, the the exil exile versions of the mage. Yeah. Only thirty cards, and with uh, Babric sorceress and Balinda stone elf. Last time I was casting <laughs> big spell mage. Uh, Almost won every game. Yeah. Uh, that day, so right. it's gonna be a deck to look uh, look uh, look at for the games. But um, this one is not XL though. This one has only thirty cards. So th <laughs> the problem with thirty cards decks is sometimes you draw badly and then you just die because you, right. you don't have the 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 little ten health cushion that gives you the chance to draw a little bit worse, but then come back in the game. If you draw badly, you you just die. That's the mm. problem. Same with Phylactery Warlock, actually. The deck is, like, it's good. You get more consistent draw because you only have 30 cards, but if you have a game where you draw badly, you just die. That's that's the problem. Mm. All right. Uh, All right. So looking forward to seeing that. Um, Lineup-wise, it's hard to tell. Like, I don't know if you have any idea how Charge Warrior does against any of those decks, but I don't. I certainly don't. Um, I'm expecting to not be very good against the Mage. But it could be a good counter to the Warlock. Looking forward to it, though. It's going to be a very spicy a very spicy match. The first one was conventional, some of the best decks in the game. This one, spice is all over. All we, over the place. We all want to see the Warrior. It's a new class in Earthstone. Let's see that in two seconds. Yeah, they a new class. <laughs> oh, we have already both player on cam right now. We'll have Maxi at the bottom of your... Of your screen, Yala, uh, at, uh, no, no, no. Max at the top of your screen and Yala at the bottom. And we are going to give them the go. It's okay, you can start. Good luck. Okay, and Yala as well. Okay, I'm gonna make. Um, as a Max yourself, I'm guessing you're rooting for Max. It was in the in the Max team, um, I guess, two years ago. Mm -hmm. It was very nice to have another Max. <laughs> yeah, that, that made the team name make even more sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. It's Wait, have you ever thought of only hiring Maxes? And I am at the time we are uh, we were two Maxes and one Maxim, so it oh, was three. That, it was, three it was a lot. It was a lot. Too much, too much. I had to uh, to fire them. <laughs> oh, you wanted to be the one Max. Yeah, the the oh, one and the only, the yeah. almighty Max. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one has been banned. Okay, so is it starting? Preparing to battle, friend. Okay, and then oh, we, have, 
Okay. Yes, doing better with a friend. Spectate. Spectate. Uh, we have this. We have the band. We have the warlock. We have the dragon. Whoa. What is it? <laughs> oh, we have the warrior already. The warriors. Thank you, Maxi. I like it. Thank you very much for that. I don't know if Druid is what you want to be facing with that type of warrior, but <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe that's the deck to target Druids. Who knows? I, I definitely don't know. But I'm all, I'm all here for it. And no, but um, as a Druid, you have the, the eight mana spells that creates um, what is it? turned minions. Mm -hmm. So um, you can have as well the Druid of the Reefs. Uh, in uh, turned versions, so oh, maybe, but is it uh, running uh, any silence? Uh, oh, in the no way. silence, yeah. You, you, no don't, silence. You, don't, you don't always need to silence, you have removal, yeah. Right, you have he has an execute. Oh, I guess that there's not much removal, there's just that one execute. Well, he has that one execute, surely that gets there. Okay, I have both in now. Hackle out of pain, bash. What year is this? Grom. <laughs> this warrior hand is a, a 2014 warrior hand. <laughs> I guess not bash, but Acolyte. it was bad. Hackle out of pain yeah. in a while. 2015. They only miss Ktoon. True. <laughs> I do remember of the, I guess it was, um, a three two for two uh with charge when you um you hold a dragon in hand. It was uh, Alex Treasure uh, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Alex Treasure champion. Yeah. I love those uh, this uh dragon warrior. When that when that card was uh in the meta, that's when I, I started being competitive. That's when I qualified for the first time to a big tournament mm. in Los Angeles. So I have good I, had, I wasn't playing the deck myself, I was trying to counter it, actually. Mm. But, still good memories. And, alright, Maxi's hand. Looking like a pile of random cards <laughs> so far. But, <laughs> I'm sure he has you, a... Plan. You take legendaries, golden legendaries, and you put it in the, in the deck. Oh, there we go. Outriser's Axe. Ooh. Oh no, Theotar? Theotar? Oh, it could have been Theotar. Yet. Yeah, you always you you always want to ramp first. That's so much more important. The theater is mm. going to be good after, but the ramp has a lot of value, especially early on. Yeah, and maybe you can have only choice between your your nourish number one, number two, and number three. You don't want to give to the the open. True. So more ramp here, I'm assuming. When do you play Aquatic Form, if not now? Maybe you wait for try, trying to get uh, next turn of Miracle Growth? You take the Wrath here to kill your own thing, I believe. Yeah, because you don't want to give draw to the Outrider's Axe, I like that. Does Max E play Forge and Flame? He plays one of them. All right, <clears throat> those are all pretty good cards. Yeah, I like the miracle growth. Like you said, it's a taunt. It draws cards. Topior, not great against a deck with two shield chatters anyway. That doesn't mm. try to make boards. I like the miracle growth a lot. No, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna check like, it. He's playing um the, the card. Yeah, Athens kills. He took a piece. Oh wow, yeah. that's a good addition. Miracle Grows. Okay, second one. It's gonna be hard for Max E to not mill a million cards here. Okay. How many cards does he have in hand? Nine. Nine? With Acolyte in play? Okay. So he's gonna mill one here. That's Yes. And that's only if Oh mutinous. Oh that's not that's not good news for Max E. That's the last thing you want to see when you're um 
when you're playing Charge Warrior. I see the brand though. There's brand Theotar available as well. But okay, so that was okay. Yeah, you just pick both. You pick Baron and then your aquatic form for Mutinous, and you do both next turn. Yep. And okay, so he's thinking about uh, brand to Theotar just right. Yeah, I like planted planted evidence, trying to get earth and scales for your miracle growth. Mm -hmm. I like you it. You can do it now. Another aquatic form? Fail rage for armor, but I like aquatic form better. Because you can't play yeah, you can't play Fail Rage this turn with the miracle growth anyway. He doesn't have to mill here. He can aquatic form to Oh. Okay. Oh he's gonna get rid of the reef? Because he has access to a third aquatic form for the mutinous. Okay. Okay. And he's in the middle of the warrior. Okay, I, I love that turn from Yarla. Very good turn. Ooh. And the battle master is gone. I think that's going to be it for the warrior. He's not going to give up just yet, but like, I'm really struggling at seeing a way the warrior gets there this game, unfortunately. You know what? I don't. I don't know what this warrior is cap capable of. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> so what's the point of Queen Ashara in that deck? I, I was thinking about that just right now. Maybe the to have a, a also minion? I'm not sure. Maybe he wants to um to copy some spell, but which one? Oh yeah. The, the one I can see is to the front. You can get another to the front, but pretty expensive yeah. way to get another to the front. There's no shield slam in that deck, by the way. So that's that's not how you want to be removing a 10-10 yeah. in 2022. And Frozen Buckler, Shield Shatter, Bash, a three card combo to deal with one single taunt. It is painful. Oh yeah, it's to get another two to the front because Crawl Mash is too expensive, right? You can't do mm. Uh, you can't do facelesses with Gromash unless you get more to the fronts. Okay. That, that's gotta be why. More ramp? Yeah, I guess. Oh, and he's gonna be able to go for, uh, for yeah. Brand, Mutinous, and Theotar in the same turn. Yeah, I guess we will see, uh, uh Max. Yeah, that's gonna be his next turn. Almost for sure. Brand, Brand Mutinous and then Theotar. No. You don't leave Matt. Yeah, you don't give him any any way to ever ever have charged minions. It's... What do you have to do now? Point a shot for shuffling spells and you hope to shuffle five runes of the Archmage? Like, what is it? Okay, what would it be here? Well, first of all, how much damage does he have access to right now? So there's a Faceless, a Grom, and a Galvangar. So if he had infinite mana, that would be 12, 24, 33. Okay. Is it now? It's now. So, yeah. yeah. It's okay to, to with no... Uh, Nothing. He knows that he wants to have his ring of tides, Martinus, and it's the turn. Oh, he's thinking about uh, yeah something else. Uh, no, he's taking it. Yeah. Okay, he's he can... for it now. There's no no reason to be. I mean, the reason to be um to to not do it now. You don't have to do it now, right? Because the battle master is gone, you know you're not dying. But why would you wait? Like why why would you wait when you can just end the game now? So uh, the Gr Gromash is dead. This one and now Grom faceless. And yeah. he doesn't even have time to play Theotar. What a bummer. <laughs> right, so this warrior deck unfortunately did not uh did not get to show its true power during that one game. Uh, and bringing uh, combo decks uh, nowadays, when you have filter, when you have mutinous, and so many ways to kill the combos, it's very, uh, 
Very difficult. Yeah. It um yeah, it didn't it didn't look very good, did it? Um but mm. I mean I'm sure I'm sure he had plans for that warrior and it just didn't get to do what he was hoping for. A little bit unfortunate. I would have liked to see that warrior uh just three oh, you know? <laughs> the best deck in yeah. the game, which nobody knew about it, but everyone's playing it on ladder then. <laughs> Unfortunately it didn't go that way. Oh. So how do you counter Druid now? As um, um Oh I think maybe, yeah, is... yeah for the priest I guess. Yeah. I've never seen this uh Druid hero portrait with a star. It's very uh, weird. Yeah, I don't know weird. either. But I don't I never buy any skins. I just play with the the original ones. Mm. So. But I... those look really cool. We have to buy cards, yeah, it's cool. enough. Oh, is it a good, uh, a good uh, enough end here for Yala? Wild growth into Guth? Yeah. Oh, like and uh, with Theota, uh still a boar, maybe? Yeah. Um, part of the combo? Yeah, it's pretty easy as the priest to play around Theotar a lot of the time. Because you just, um, it's one mana to play a boar, it's one mana to trade an amulet, so you don't end up, you don't end your turn mm. with uh, either combo piece. One card that you might end your turn with in hand is the Zirella Hero, yeah. and sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes it's not necessary to have it to win the game, but there are games where the Druid can just get an extra maybe 10 armor with the Earthen Scales, you know? and. Mm. If you get an extra uh, an extra ten armor, you're at fifty HP, and one weapon is forty five damage. So there's a chance that just stealing the hero card can get there. Do you like, play thirty five armor? So. Yeah. Do you play a Theta here that uh, you saw a switcher? How cute. Um, but, but nine cards in. Uh, my... Yeah. So. I don't know. I think you just assume your opponent would have coined out a boar if they had it. Mm. So that, that's like some mind games. Max is Max is saying, um, I'm not going to coin out boar, and that way Yala's not going to think I have boar, so he's not going to go through Teotar yet. Mm. But maybe you can eat a Pyromancer or a Northshire Cleric? Yeah. Oh, oh he's, he's going for it. That might be a very quick game. Oh. Cleric. He misses. Uh, Tragedy. And now he didn't play Guff. I would probably like to take the cleric here. And Innovate for give me. back the Naga Giant? That kind of hurts. You don't really want to get rid of your Naga Giant. Giving out oh. Innervate? Innervate is so good for Priest, though. Okay. He took Switcheroo yeah. instead of the, the cleric. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I would have picked two different cards from that Theotar, but... I could see it. And now he, Max is showing the, that board that he had in hand at the <laughs> time. Just for BM. It's not for BM, obviously. It's, it's good to play it. Okay. So... Playing three spells already? I wouldn't be surprised if you went for a Valish this turn. Okay. He didn't have to. Oh. Now you gotta go Guff. It's Guff time. And a brand. Yeah. Oh, he's thinking of going um, Nourish and Switcheroo because that that's better use of your mana. I still like the Guff better though. So you get the hero power this turn and you get more mana at the end of the day. But Okay. Maybe maybe that's better. You get potentially you can place uh Naga Giant sooner. Mm hmm You only lose out on one guff hero power. Maybe it's unlikely to matter. Okay. Alright. And 
And maiden number two in hand. Well, that's his only way to draw cards, so he's going to probably try to start setting up for it. Not that he has much to do to... Yeah. All right. Brand guff. Oh, that's what he was going for. Oh. Okay. And that works. Brand guff makes it makes the battle cry trigger twice. So two, you gain two mana, and you gain two cards. Right now, he's more concerned about the two cards than the two mm. mana. I believe. But you won't get twice the the armor, I guess. Oh. No, no. It it's only the it's only the cards and the mana, but that's that's already pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now with miracle growth. In hand, you definitely just go for the for the mana for the hero power, I believe. The sea floor be oh, that's some that's some waste on the health. <laughs> yes, that was a one eight druid of the reef because of switcheroo with Onyxia, but it just <laughs> transforms. It doesn't yeah. keep the health, and now now you're just stuck with an eight one Onyxia in hand. Next okay. game, having to go with the cleric for a single draw. Yeah, only one. That's not what you want. It's not optimal, but um, he has handmaiden, so he's just saying, "I don't need both my clerics to draw a million cards." Okay, it's only it. No. Yep. Two more draw. And both players are at one-one here in this uh, group. They have to win. Okay, so both amulets have been traded traded enough. So now, if you're max, you just need to uh, you go illuminate, right? Found finds the second amulet. Mm -hmm. I, I think both boars have died, right? Yeah. So is he set up for potentially next turn just getting the weapon already? But Ojo, you kill them. You have a Shadow or Devourer, so you're missing out on one card, but you have a lot of mana with Priestess Valish, and you have mm. Nature Cleric. And Gif. So maybe you get a couple more draws, and you get either a Pyromancer, another Shadow or Devourer, or the Light It Burns to kill enough boars. You only need, uh, yeah, if you get the Light It Burns, you can play the Amulet, the first Amulet, kill one boar, then play the second Amulet. Which summons three, and then you can Shadow Devour any minion. So, yeah. He has a lot of potential outs. Okay. An athlete on your other side. Hmm. Why would you, 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 you play a uh, double Mega Giant, giant here? That's a good question. I mean, I think you do okay. play them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, trading the the cleric. Yeah, that's important. Keep it. Yeah, to keep the open. I'm drawing. All right, so you can much. trade the you can trade the handmaiden, go cleric gift, I suppose, to start the turn. Draw two cards. You gotta go now, or you gotta go soon. Because if you go for a very long turn, you need <laughs> to have time to do everything. You don't want to rope out at the end. I guess he's thinking about whether or not he wants to hear about her first to get an extra draw. Going for it? Okay. Okay. I guess the pyro. But there's no mana now to do everything, is there? Pyro, Devour. You can play Zero Mana Amulet now. You should play the Amulet before anything else, right? Oh! Wait, that's a lot of draw. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, I'm just- I'm worried uh, he's not gonna have time. Okay, he has his, uh, his second uh, Shadow World Devour. And he has his Silence. Uh, 
the silence did nothing. No. Okay, I think I think at the end he panicked. I, mean, I don't know about this turn, but I don't think that's what he wanted this turn to look like. At least he's not dead. He's not dead, and he has he has a way to heal and Zurella to clear a board, and he has the second amulet with Shadow Devour. So he might still be in a decent position. Mm. But yeah. So what does Yala do now? I kind of want to just sire Denathrius. I like the sire Denathrius here because yeah, you know that you won't be able to play the card later, and it has some um, life steal. So yeah, as only is on board, he can then. Oh, okay. He can do that. Okay, he can do that. I'm thinking about trading uh, one of the giants, which Why? makes sense to me. Because you don't oh, want the pirates yeah. to kill your Denathrius. Yeah. But, uh, but maybe add um, Denathrius first, and then you see if you have to. Yeah. Okay. It's just if he trades okay. first, he get, like, he gets okay. rid of the, the worst case scenario, but. Yeah, this on average is better. Because now you can do your combo, but the board. Yeah. Especially yeah. this 10 10 with the lifesteal. I mean, you can go Pyromancer, Shadow or Devour. Mm -hmm. So that will deal two damage to the board. And then you go Flash Heal your own face, you go Amulet, and you go to 15 HP. You get the weapon. You kill the Sardanathrius. Mm -hmm. And Yala has one mana, and you're at 5 HP, but you have the hero card. So, uh, in the end, I think Maxi is fine. I think he just gets there. With this flash heal. Hmm. Okay. Okay, as I said. Face is at five, but nothing can be done here. Yep. But maybe the the fatigue will uh, kill him. Uh, uh, I think but he so can. I mean, yeah. The weapon is a two-turn clock, and there's a million healing with the mm. zero. You can, can just hear yeah. power. Yeah. Can ill. Oh wait, can you Can you die to something? Could you die to planted evidence? What's a one mana, one or two mana spell? No? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Max ends up winning this game. I don't know how... I think Max was a little bit shaky on some of those turns. Hmm. But the, it's a good matchup for Priest. Uh, Yala missed out on a Theotar, so some, some of the things went well. Um, it was kind of a weird game. I think it's mostly the pop-off turn from Max E that he didn't have enough time at the end to figure out everything. But he left himself in a position to still be alive and still have a way to win the game the turn after. So in the end, mm. not too bad. And then, uh, he salvaged it very nicely. Do you now think that, uh, number, number that three. The, the Warlock or the, the Mage, Yala, can, uh, can be quick enough to uh, counter the, the Bow Priest? I think they're both very, very good matchups for <laughs> against War Priest. It's going for the mage. Hmm. Oh yes, it's a big spell mage. Okay, remember now. Yeah. Big spell mage. Um. Yeah, one of the most uh, important cards is Barbaric Sorceress. Yeah. To not only get a cheap. A copy of one of your expensive spells, but it also makes one of uh, the board priest spells cost nine or ten, mm. and sometimes right. that's enough disruption to just win the game. Oh, and we see Theotar again. Oh, Maybe this time yeah. it gets a little bit luckier with a Theotar. <laughs> Theotar and Bobrex Sorceress, you just have to draw your big mana spells. Yeah, you want to draw a big mana spell. And... Oh, this one is good as well. And you would like to also draw a curve. Because if you start just pinging and pinging and doing nothing, uh, the board priest 
won't be as punished by a single barbaric sorceress because mm. you give them enough time to uh, set up for it and not be in trouble if it happens. The switcheroo, good card to have. With Handmaiden, but Handmaiden is not easy to. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, I can illuminate flash. Already, out. already tilt out. Yeah, nothing to. Oh. Why did he steal? That was so quick. Didn't see. A cleric. A bit cleric. Okay. And Kim. Maxi is gonna be really happy. Just <laughs> Theotar is gone. It didn't steal anything important. <laughs> now he can play the game, without. With one less weight on his shoulders. Nice. Free switcheroo. Sign me up. Flash heal. Handmaiden. Seems very good. Do you okay. play switcheroo now? No reason to play it now. Yeah, no reason to play it now. How many cards? Eight cards so you can play it. Okay, he keeps it. Oh, deep water evoker. So he has something for the sorceress, but he has two turns to play it. He could decide to Okani now to be a little bit more disruptive, smatter on board, and deep water the turn after. Hmm. Kind of like I would kind of like seeing the Okani now. I do you want to counter fight? I don't know. I like countering a minion against Boar Priest. It's hard for them to deal with it a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So nine cards in hand, you can start with Switcheroo. Play your boars if you get them. Yeah. Okay, not a big turn, but I think he's pretty Max he's pretty happy with his situation right now. He's not under any pressure. Yala didn't get a coin from a mailbox dancer, so Yala can't really play a Barbaric Sources yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is, but it's too late to be relevant. So that's the Okani turn, I suppose. Oh, I like it. Okani, Cleric. Mm -hmm. If you play your own Cleric, there's a chance Maxi has to draw you all the cards that he wants to draw himself as well. Yeah, look at that. There's Pyromancer, Cleric, and Gift of the Nauru. That's what Max E really wants to do there. But if, if there's a Cleric on the other side... Hmm. Not sure you uh, want to play your own Cleric versus a Priest. Yeah, it's Painful. good. Yala, Yala can overdraw. Like, It's not a win condition for Max E to uh, try to overdraw Yala. Yala is hmm. just playing a bunch of cards that try to kill. He's not playing... a Singular win condition that he needs to draw. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I guess it's the best way you can deal mm -hmm. with it. Okay, you can't trade the cleric and Chadward Devour to prevent the draw on the other side. I guess that works. But that's only three draws. Unless he draws another Gift of the Nara. Yeah. Three more draws then. Okay, only three draws. Not too impressive. Maybe you trade yep. is... You trade or play a boar? I like getting the boar in play. Okay. I'm trash, but... Our Barak Sources, what do we hit? Shadow the Bower. It's not an important card for the priest. But one mana one mana two dragons is uh <laughs> gonna be interesting. Pyro lived, but Pyro can't do that much right now. There's no more clerics. And he's not even behind on board, so it's not like Pyro's super good at um at guaranteeing he's ahead on board and he's already kind of ahead on board. Which I guess is a good thing. It's it's good that he's not currently dying. He must be yeah. happy about at least that much. And he's drawn a lot of his deck. Both boars are going to be dead now. I don't think he's traded enough amulets for them to be completely ready, but... 
And maybe only once has been drawn, has been um, traded. I guess. I remember one. There might have been more, but I remember only one. Okay. It keeps the lighted burns of the, the upcoming dragons. I don't know, I would like to play Thrive in the Shadows there to spend my mana and draw a card, but he doesn't seem to think it's necessary. Alright, what are the dragons? We need good dragons there. <laughs> Gala, usually that's a really good matchup for the mage, but I think it's a really difficult situation right now. He's going to need to get some... I don't even know what dragons would get there. I don't know why he's not already playing the dragons. Okay, there you go. Raid boss or sleepy dragon? So you know about the light it burns. But there's a chance you get the other Onyxia. And then there's a bunch of whelps oh, yeah. and the raid boss is immune. Right, but difficult to get... Yeah. Okay. On is that. It? It, yes. It's, it's easy, actually. <laughs> it's super easy. Just get it every time. It... It... So, what's he doing with the rest of his mana? Nothing? Oh, he's thinking about um, his, usage, his, uh, his usage of the Snow Flurry. Okay. That's a pretty important one. Because freezing, freezing the priest's face. When they're about to get the weapon to um, get an extra turn, that's super important. Mm -hmm. It was, I guess, he was debating whether uh, Maxi could potentially get the weapon this turn, and he figured that it was impossible or very, very unlikely. So he just played the minion, but he didn't ping, and I, 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 I like that a lot. Yeah, um, very good. Okay. Okay. Okay, do you have a place in thing? Is it something interesting? I want to I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do if you're yellow here. Um you want to keep um um a slot Free on your on your board. I don't know. Maybe for to to silence something. Don't know. Yeah, uh, there, there's nothing that he really needs, but I think he's in a really tough spot because if he doesn't pink face this turn, there's a really good chance Max he just gets the weapon, clears the board, and wins the game. Hmm. But if he does pink face, Maxi can take take a turn off, just uh, clear the board with Zirella. And then just do the weapon stuff the turn after. I don't think that Yala will eat. He likes um, keeping away from uh, Xirela. Oh, okay. I mean, he has to because he can't. Uh, I, I agree with you that it would be good to try to not hit to play on Xirela if, but only if you could set up a board mm. that would deal three damage in one go. Because if you if you can't do that, at some point Zirella is going to clear your board no matter what. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess Maxi's hand is not that good right now. He's going to go gift, draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, he can get the weapon, but he doesn't want to right now. So he's just going to go shard and clear with Zirella. And then the next turn, he can get the weapon. Or can no. he? Wait, his Pyromancer has one... Wait, his Pyromancer has one life? One HP? And his Shadow Devour is yeah. at uh, 10 mana. So yeah, he has to he has to uh, just play the boars now. And he has to have them die. If they don't die, um, it's going to be difficult. But Yala can't win without playing minions, so he's going to have to k kill the boars. Curious. It's unfortunate that Yala is playing mage. If he was playing a control deck that doesn't have to play minions with a lot of removal spells, mm. maybe he would have a chance. But... 
Yeah, like here, for example, Maxi can just play 10 mana, Shadow Devourer on the Zirella. Yeah. And then set up for next turn going Pyromancer plus Amulet. Okay. Uh, he prefers to have it another way, but uh, I liked it. No, I think he just realized the Pyro is 1 HP. Yes. I think that was. I, a, I, think that was I, can see, I can see him it on the cam. Yeah, is he unhappy? He must be unhappy because this is a. Uh... He realized. Realizes yeah. that something is. Yeah, I weird. think you had to just go for the ten mana devour this turn, mm -hmm. and then the next turn you go pyromancer with the amulet. Uh, thankfully for Max E, though, looking at Yarlow's hand, he doesn't have a way to do anything of relevance. This is just. Oh wait, he does. He can silence the boars. Those are the last boars. Oh, yes. Oh, the game is over. Yeah, you're right. Right. Oh, so, sorry. What are we talking about? The game is over. You're all yeah, the, the last ones that have been silenced, so you won't get the weapon. Wait, so, no. you all doesn't see it? No, not this one. Those are the last boars. Usually you don't, usually you don't care about silencing boars, but this time it just... It wins the game right away. Yala has to see this. It doesn't see it. He wants to. Maybe. Oh, it will be a rune of the Archmage, I guess. Oh no! He, yes. He misses, he misses the guaranteed have... win, and but that's he... pretty close to a guaranteed loss now. It can pull him off. It must pull him off. Oh, that would be. That would be quite something no. if he went for mass polymorph, but no, he misses. Oh, he oh will, no, Yarla. He, will, he will be so mad when we will we'll tell it, we'll tell it oh, during no. the interview. Wow, that's very unchar uncharacteristic from Yarla to miss something like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's... You never silence boars. That that's something that never happens. You're just used to seeing boars and being like silence doesn't do anything. Except those were the last boars. So that's the one case where opponent did not kill their own last boars. They were silenceable for the win. Uh, and now what is it now? Now it's a phylactery warlock. Against boar priest. That's. That's really bad. Yeah. That's really bad for Yarla. Very difficult to be Cause it's, it's, quick enough. Yeah, it's combo deck against combo deck, except one combo deck wins the game on average two or three turns before the other one. And that's the War Priest. So he's going to be hoping for a very slow hand on Max E's side. And a very fast hand on his own side. <laughs> and we can see the Mithril Rod already in a Tamsin's Phylactery. And Tamsin Roam. Okay. So Yarla has maybe the one hand that can do it. If Max E's hand is also slow. That is. So interesting. Max E though, he's not, he's not fooling around. He's got the Switcheroo. He's got the Thrive in the Shadows. So... Yeah. So Unlucky true. for Yarla, but I mean, mm -hmm. Yarla had to win the last game, so maybe it's, uh, maybe it's just, uh, how the game decides to punish Yarla with a terrible matchup and a pretty good hand on the other side. Yeah. Like I said, though, his own hand, he only needs a mine and then he can pop off potentially lethal on turn seven. Maybe not seven but definitely on turn eight do you coin the, um, the weapon next turn yeah he's not even gonna it's yarla but he's not i don't think he's even gonna think about it i think he's just gonna do it yep here we go already i have the factory the temps in rome as i said and you have the friendish cycle circle yeah, and the Hellfire to kill it off. Mm. So all you need now is a mine. Yep. 
and drawing enough cards, drawing eight cards, because you need to draw eight cards to reduce uh, mm. those spikes. You want to trade? You want to draw? Actually, Yarlos has got a pretty good chance, I think. Max okay. E decides to play on hard mode. He just never, he doesn't want much mana from his priestess. Doesn't need it. Last game he played it to counter Okani. This game he gets mm. into what, two mana? Two mana. That's all oh. he needs. He doesn't need more mana. Oh, and it's not playing the Thrive in the, in the Shadows yet. Okay. Let's see how Yala approaches this. Probably Coil. He wants to tap. Kamzin? He can't make room for this, though. I don't think there's a way. I think at some point we will see this friendly circle into a uh, impending catastrophe. <clears throat> I actually don't, because he doesn't have room for it. I wouldn't be surprised if he went for a life tap here and impending catastrophe. Just to draw two cards okay. and then maybe touch something at the end because it's going to be reduced. Unless he can make room, okay. but to, to make room, he doesn't want to use the fiendish circle because that's part of uh, the, yeah, of the combo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, and maybe it's only... I think if I'm Yarla, I just go impending catastrophe, tap and touch. Yeah, it's only one copy of it, you're right. Okay. He's actually right. in a he's, he's in a great spot now. You could just play the mine. It can be it can be silenced. No big deal yeah, but, because yeah, even it, if it's silenced, it has to it die. Works with the phylactery. It cannot be transformed, but it can't be silenced. Yeah. So now all he needs to do is draw an extra is finish the two procs on Mithril Rod, then he has lethal. So how is he gonna do that? I think he's got lethal on turn seven. I think Yarla has lethal on turn seven. So the board priest is gonna have to be extremely fast. And I'm looking at Maxi's hand and I'm not seeing it. Hmm. This is playing his cheap spells to activate his end maiden number two and draw three more. Only Nine cards left on Max's deck right now. Oh, ten cards in hand? No, nine. Nine. Nine cards. Um, yeah, so Yarla, all he needs to do is reduce his hand by one. So draw four cards. So how does he do that? Makes room. He, he just makes room. Can he make room and play Tamsin? I don't, I don't see it. If he has to use the Fiendish Circle, then he's not guaranteed lethal next turn. Hmm. But okay. he doesn't. Yeah, that's good yes. enough. You're Tamsin, and okay, yeah, he wins. Uh, unless somehow Max E can deliver the weapon this turn, Yarla has lethal. Incredible hand by Yarla, mm. and very well, very well played as well. But yeah, next turn, one mana Tamsin, one mana Fiendish Circle, two mana Phylactery for four mana total, and two more mana to Hellfire at the end, and you get what? Five times eight, you get you get forty three damage. Forty three damage from hand on turn seven. <laughs> yeah, you you gotta play the catastrophe here. And if he goes like oh, wait, this, yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Just like that. You know, okay. Uh, like this, we'll have a last match with um the mage, the mage from Max. Which mage? Wait, Max uh, no mage, no mage. Sorry, it was uh, the druid. The druid. Oh, the, oh, the yeah. druid. yeah, I made a mistake here. Not so mage. druid against Blackberry Warlock. That should be a pretty close matchup. But that that was a very. Uh, you don't you don't get to see turn seven lethal that often on the on the warlock side. That was a very very strong hand from Yarla. Max okay. probably was just one turn off. I guess. Both have died, so yeah. I guess the amulet. No, both Wait. amulets have to be traded again. Actually, Maxi was pretty far off. 
Yala, Yala had one turn to spare at the end. Oh. That's gonna be game number game number four? Yep. To Yarla. He's not gonna miss that one. <laughs> no. And we have the druid. Anything special in the druid? So Max E's ramp druid. He's running oh. mutinous. Mutinous could be of some help. And um it's uh... We said before that is uh, yeah it's a Zola the goggle inside. Oh yeah, Zola. I mean, it's a matchup where Zola could be useful on Theotar. Yeah. He's got a good version of Druid to try to compete against the Warlock. Very very well done by Yarla here. He yeah. Helped by a very strong, very good draw. He had all of the things, but remember he kept the phylactery in the opening hand. He knew what we what he was doing. He knew that he needed the phylactery and he needed a really good hand. And it was like I need to draw the weapon, but I also need to have phylactery reduced. So I'm keeping the phylactery. I'm keeping all combo pieces, and I'm just hoping to get it in the top half of my deck, which he did. He got all the important cards in the top half of his deck, and managed to win that way. You don't like to see that when you if you're a Max E fan, but well executed by Arla. The final game of this stream, guys. Enjoy. Phyrectory Warlock played by Yala, runner up of the last championship. Pretty bad hands on both sides. I'm expecting mm. full mulligan. And Maxi was uh, top 16, I guess, in the previous Master Tour. Not this one. The plain ultimate. All right, Yala's got a, more, a calmer hand this game. Looks like he might not get the turn seven lethal. Although things might change quickly. And Maxi has the Theotar. Yeah. Now, quite, when quite he plays the Theotar, it's really important. Uh, we've seen players a lot in Master Store play Theotar as soon as they can in that matchup. Mm -hmm. I personally would like Max to wait um, a little bit longer. To give Yala more time to draw Phylactery. Because the only card that really matters to steal with Theotar is Phylactery. Mm. Warlock can win without Tamsin because you have uh, Queen Ashara to get extra Phylacteries. Yala going for a tempo for 1-1s. One -one I like it. Like here, Max, I, I really don't want to see Theotar. I want I want him to run. Yeah. I, guess, I guess he um, won't coin Theotar. If he would have played it on four, uh, he would have uh, coined the White Rose in the previous turn. And then fell down yeah. now. Yeah, here I just want to see a Wild Growth. I want to see Seizman next turn. Oh, I oh. think the Theotar. I'm he very might still surprised. Tamsin, but, but with very Tamsin surprised. in the back, even if he does steal the Tamsin, oh. uh, the game's not over. What Was it the, the Mine, maybe? No, he wants to steal the Tamsin for sure. I mean, I guess that now if his mutinous later on hits the Queen of Shara, he's guaranteed the win because Yala doesn't have enough damage. Mm. But with Queen of Shara, you still have over 50 damage uh, in the OTK. So, oh, okay. Oh, if it now, uh, if it has been, now, <laughs> things might have changed a little bit. Yes. Max might, might get it, rewarded. If it was the mine, I could have. But there's two mines the in the second deck. one. Yeah. But uh, the second one mm, is too cheap. Hey, what if Yarla just, just straight up kills Max? That's a lot of pressure. Max doesn't have any way to deal with it. Mm. He's just going to play another Theotar here, I assume. The way he's been playing so far. Oh, okay. Nervy. He's kind of okay. dying. The yeah, sport is... Yeah, but is not... pure soon. Yeah. Into maybe innovate. What do you do here? You trade 1-1s and you play Spice yeah. Bread Baker? Or 
You, have you to trade one run, then you play a Wicked Shipment. Push even more damage. Or you go all face, and you play Thelnos. You could go all face and play a Spice Bread Baker. You have a lot of options. Like the trade here. Oh. You might go face. Yeah. Take the damage. Oh, uh, on the chat they say uh, Xyrela Hero, so silence, silence wasn't the play because um, with Xyrela on the previous uh, turn, uh, the previous um, game, oh. with Xyrela the, the boss that has been uh, dead would have been um, uh, replayed. The, um, oh, I see. Death at all. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. But then you only get 45 damage. Yeah, it, uh, it okay, will would have been to difficult to, to make it. A 40. Okay, okay, my bad. My bad. Forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. I guess he's out of good stuff to do. Yarla is. He doesn't have hand space, so that's what happens when you don't draw the weapon. Mm. You draw the weapon maybe 70% of the time, but the 30% of the time you don't. And that's what the game looks like. You, you just can't... What can you even do? Like he's going to trade 2-1 to play a Hellfire, I suppose? No, I like um, Hellfire, yeah. Oh! oh. Okay, it's just yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's actually better, that's for sure. <clears throat> just keep putting some pressure. Try to, I mean, he needs to get the drill low, because he won't have access to as much damage this game without the Tamsin and potentially without the Queen of Shaw. So he's not gonna need that much damage. Drill is only at twenty three potentially. So. I think that he will play uh, at the scale here on his 5 5, like this. It's a natural spell, so it generates uh, 3 3. Maybe you could do that. Could you could also just try to play another Theotar. He's been, he's been playing Theotars a lot mm. as soon as he could, so I wouldn't be surprised if he, was, if he went for that. I also like the kind of, I kind of like the Ivis. You know, it's just one big minion, but one big minion to completely uh, stop the pressure on the other side. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you trade there? Okay. Sure. Yeah, so Yarla can play an entitled customer that will be full clear. Feels pretty good if you're Yarla. This is, that's the turn that felt the best in a long time. But he's still not progressing his own game plan is the problem. Customer Thanos? Yeah, he probably played Thanos. Maxi's hey. under 20. But he has Guff, I suppose. Probably time to play Guff. Do you think yeah he's waiting for his on Bran to play the Theota? Oh, he might be waiting for Bran, yeah. But um The problem here is he doesn't have anything else that's good. So uh, I mm. wouldn't mind Theotard now, I suppose. He knows about Insatiable Devour in Yarla's hand, and that card can be really good. If Maxi tries to win by making a huge board of like two or three minions, yeah. it's, it's gonna get countered right away by the card he gave Yarla at the start of the game. But uh, in the in, in the um, in the previous um, the previous match with um, the quest priest, uh, I guess there were no way to to kill the the bulls. 
at least for this run. So you would have to play the Devourer at 10 mana on next next uh, next turn. Then he'll have to play the Xyola next turn. And uh, he was at the Fatigue, so not sure about that. Be interesting to, to have the silence anyway. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Okay, finally, finally, yeah, finally the weapon is here. And now it's a completely different game. Also, the, uh, Theothar missed on... He got an impending catastrophe, but he also has access to two impending catastrophes. So he's more than happy to give one away. You, you didn't have hand space to play both, no matter what. Okay. No. Okay, so there's no. No, and uh, only. Okay, he prefers to keep the remote sacrifice here. Yeah. I actually would have liked to see it used just to empty some hand space and make the board a little bit more resilient with a mm -hmm. bigger null. I don't feel strongly either way about it. There's still a mutinous. The problem with just playing mutinous for max is that um, that's just not enough to prevent damage. Because mm. he's at 21, and your ally can just. Your ally Thanks. just has to draw a phylactery at this point, and he's got more than enough damage. Oh, he didn't take care of the friends. Get rid of the, the board. Wrath is, the wrath is good there. Zero mana, kill a five, one draw card. Oh, can oh. you get an innervate? If you can get innervate from this, it's gonna be so huge. No innervate. No, no, but the brand is here. Yeah, so there's a and brand mute to us, and maybe you can earth and scales that, and if it's a big minion. And we will have another draw. So. Do you just devour this? Can't be too bad, but it doesn't progress his own game plan is the problem. But yeah, he's not going to go for it. He's going to go Entitled Customer, he's going to kill it off with a Grimoire and play Tamsin. To draw more cards, try to set up a lethal. Oh, what's he going for? I kind of like that. It's Entitled not sure. customer, 5 mana, Grimoire for 0 mana. And it's not true. Sure. Okay. Yep. Like it. It, you draw. Oh, you but reduce. the answer button is green, which means he's going to mill a card here. He was hoping to get something he could just play, but he didn't. Oh, Mortal Call could have been played, but uh, nothing on board yeah and if so you mills the library off the top the game is over yeah and there's only eight cards left in yarla's deck so one on oh, eight but what if wait maxi is gonna just mutinous here and let yarla draw off the top this mutinous is gonna empty yarla's hand he's actually helping yarla with that but you can't know that the library is not in hand mm. oh and he misses on the queen of Shara. that's huge no, Yala's in the leading, in the leading position now. He has Devour even to deal with this board. That was a really interesting game. Yeah, I think you have to play the minion in the middle. Just oh, mm. he didn't. He didn't think about the Devour now. Yeah, you be... don't want to give. Yeah, I've been in the middle. And as a square, so else, yeah. Yeah, I think he, he probably mm. just forgot that he gave the devourer. Oh, the game. <gasps> and it was the phylactery. It was a phylactery. So if there was no mutinous played there, Yala would have just lost the game on the spot. That's quite funny. I mean, there's no way for Max E to know, and I, I believe that he had to go for it now. I have to tell him later in the interview. But, but I, I don't believe that was a mistake. It's just unfortunate. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, so Yarla doesn't have... What he's missing is a way to create a board. Maybe he gets a board just with the Bell Rift, though. 
But if he finds any way to create imps... How much damage is that already? Oh, he doesn't have mana. So I guess he just goes devour this turn. Next turn should be lethal for sure. Maxi with no Sire and Ethereus in hand is nowhere near doing any tier, anything no. close to lethal. He's out of the game, I believe. Just waiting for Yala to deliver that final blow. Also, I guess he does he have silence? No silence in hand currently for Max, so the 1726 on the other side is actually a big problem. <laughs> I think yes. there's another silence in his deck though. Oh, he has ways to. Uh, to for either that or his second devour. But doesn't have mana for second devour. Yes. Not this one, silence, not this maybe? one, no and silence. not this one. Hmm. I don't think he can kill the Devourer, so he's going to have to clear the rest of the board. He doesn't have a way to generate a taunt either. And Yarla still has Wicked Shipments, and he's guaranteed to draw it, so it's going to be game for the Yarla. Yeah. It's over. Wow. Yellow with not without drawing a weapon this game. But the thing is Max he didn't do any anything powerful. Max he went all in on trying to disrupt Yarla. He's like, I'm not gonna go for any game plan of my own. I'm gonna go with Theotar, I'm gonna try to disrupt Yarla. And that's gonna be it. And it did not work. I don't know if he had many options. I mean, he did have a lot of options to go for a, a lot of ramp instead. He had Wild Growth, he had um, the 4 mana uh, Widow Bloom Seedsman, and he could have gone for a lot more ramp and going for his own Druid game plan, but instead decided to try to counter Yarla. It could have worked, but it didn't. Interesting way to approach the game, though. And Yarla wins the series, 3-2. Yeah. Well done, Yarla. Play two. Uh, okay, Yala. Electric Warlock coming in clutch too. Two wins at the end. Impressive stuff. Okay, we'll have Maxi. Uh, GG, thanks for the games. Okay, for a little. Discord. I guess we'll have Yala as well. Okay, we have. At both of them in a few seconds so Thanks. i'm adding the guys Let's see and uh, yalla great okay they're coming we have max do you hear us max yalla do you hear us Okay. Congrats. Congrats. Uh, we have um, uh, Maxi as well, but uh, we cannot hear him. Uh, yep. Ah. Ça y est, on on t'entend. Okay. Hello. Thanks. GG. So, um, yeah, GG. Okay, yeah, go, uh, Monsanto. Oh, congratulations, Yarla. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so, um, what's your... What's your thought on uh, Phylactery Warlock in the current meta? I mean, well, to be fair, it's my favorite deck right now, and I had like decent success with it last month on the ladder. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty much why I'm playing it, doing okay with it. Uh, I think it's pretty solid when you when you can ban Rogue because Rogue is like I don't know, ten percent matchup, maybe even worse. Can't really be the be that, but against the slower decks, I think it's pretty good, even against Druid. Usually, if you get like Rot earlier, uh, it's pretty even matchup. Maybe on Rock favorite from my experience. Yeah, it looked really strong. I mean, I this game you didn't get the weapon for the longest time, and you still managed to. Mm. Whenever you drew the weapon, the game was over within like a couple turns. Yeah, it was pretty that, that close. Felt pretty impressive. Um, and uh, we have questions for for Maxi as well. Uh, question in French, uh, Maxence. 
Euh, bah, c'est plus simple pour moi, ouais. On va, faire, on va faire ça comme ça. Enfin, les deux, ça va, mais... Pas de problème. Tu es, tu es venu avec euh, un guerrier, dis donc, le Charge Warrior, et euh, tu, tu l'as testé en, en ladder que, Comment ça ouais, se passe 50 games avec. Ok. Oh, wow. Et comment ça se passe 50 games avec, et je suis à 63% de Moon Knight en top 200 sur U. Joli vraiment... Bon, après, je profite des listes fermées, même si, bon, oui. je pense qu'on comprend assez vite ce que c'est quand même. Mais ouais. honnêtement, c'est bah, un peu comme le, comme le démo de genre là, c'est un match-up qui est vraiment dur contre Rogue. Parce que tu peux pas vraiment le contrôler, t'as as trop peu de PV en fait. Mm. Mais euh, contre le reste, franchement, euh, bah, en fait c'est mon seul match-up négatif en ladder euh, Rogue. Okay. Enfin, je pense que t'es derrière euh, Big Spell aussi, le match Big Spell qui avait genre là, mais euh, je les ai faites la semaine dernière les games et il y avait quasiment que des ping. Et mmh. justement, c'était surtout pour battre mage, ping, euh, gel. T'es vraiment ultra favorable dans le match-up parce qu'il fait rien, en fait. Mmh. Genre, tu poses pas de board, il pose ses petits... son lieu, etc. Mais il t'agresse pas et... C'était pour okay. ce match-up que genre l'avais pas, du coup, c'était pas ouf. Ok. <rire> okay. So, Yala, I was um, uh, asking Maxi about his uh, charge warrior. And he's telling us that uh, after 50 games on ladder, It was a 66% uh, win with it. And uh, as I said, uh, on... okay. as I said, um... oh, 63, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's bad. Um, and uh, the, oh, the, the, from the, water. the the rogue uh, is, is, um, is a worst matchup. Match yeah. I to beat a uh, mage uh, ping, but uh, you didn't have it. So, it's okay. I think I'm close to versus Druid. Um, mm. On ladder, they, they um, don't know the list, so uh, they um, some, right, never uh, play a Bran uh, plus um, Tannus or things like that. And uh, I think you... In ladder, I'm uh, positive in the matchup, but I think in uh, open deck list, it's uh, harder. Excellent. But uh, yeah. on ladder, uh, against Druid, I'm okay too. Yeah, okay. it makes sense. But with, with Mutinous in the deck, it seemed... Um, if, if Yala was to draw good and draw all this disruption, it seemed really, really tough for the for the yeah. warrior there. Well, you also know he the... has uh, the Rump, the Guff, and uh, Bran Mutinous. I think it's uh, yeah unwinnable. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, and we have two things to uh, to tell you. The the first one in the first game, the, remember, Max said that uh, you use uh, Mutinous when Yala's end was 10 cards. Remember? Oh, the last game. Yeah, the last oh, game. Okay. okay. And the the next card he drew was Phylactery. And he... <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I had enough space. Know, uh, how to play the, the game? Uh, I, I try. Uh, I think I don't take the good plan. So, yep. But uh, you were. Uh, not a good game. It, it was yeah, not that, a that very. Game went, you, that game, I think you went for you. You didn't go for a druid game plan. You tried to just try to uh, disrupt Yarla's game plan. Yep. I think you would have probably been off a little bit better if you went for mm. just ramp and try to do druid powerful druid yep. things. Essentially. I agree. Yeah, especially in that That's game, I was pretty it. slow. So yeah, yeah. but when I uh, I change my plan when I take the um, uh, the one three, I don't oh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying wrong. And uh, after I see mm -hmm. he was very slow and uh, he just uh, push a little damage with the board and I I think I can uh, I can just take the board and uh, after. Uh, I will ramp and uh, it can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm going back from that. But uh, I never take the, the board and uh, I just slow because uh, I don't do uh, good turns and uh, yeah, it was bad yeah, at was, the end. It was interesting though. Um, oh yeah, uh, the game before that, we got like super uh, excited or like confused because Yarla on the last turn against Boar Priest, you could have silenced the boars. Um, And we forgot yeah. that, but we forgot afterwards that you, there was Zirella anyway. 
Yeah, it doesn't work. I needed to polymorph for it actually casted twice the transform, but yeah, they died before, so it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, did, like, did, did anyway. Yeah, you saw the the silence. Okay. I wait. saw that, but I realized it's uh, it's not gonna work. Okay, okay. I don't know. We were thinking about about you. You didn't know the, the opposite um, end, but yeah, at the we, time we were we were in the wrong though because mm. we just forgot about Zirella. So. Yeah, it was um, the 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 spell you hit with the sorceress was uh, the devil, so he had to play the devil for ten because he didn't have uh, any pyromancer left, and uh, then he uh, he won't have to play the the Xyrela, so it was. Two more turns and then the fatigue. So not true, but uh, in this no, game, I just forgot my uh, Pyromancer has only one HP. <laughs> yeah, we saw that on cam. <laughs> yeah, we saw that. So, uh, it was not uh, very. Uh, I had the theater on turn for yeah. two games in a row. I wanted to snipe the boar, but didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there was boar. One time I. Oh, we, we, we lost Maxent. Oh, I lost everyone. Oh, is it me? Yes, it's me. So spicy decks, Black 3 Warlock on one side and this Charge Warrior, even though the Charge Warrior didn't really do much. Um, Black 3 Warlock did seem pretty impressive, so that was cool. Yep. Okay, guys, so now Yala, you're 2-1 in this um, Max League 6. Uh, Max, c'est pas perdu, tu as 1-2, tu sais que 3-2, ça, ça marche aussi. Même euh, ah ouais, okay. 3-2, ça marche je, aussi. Je t'avoue que je savais pas, mais... Alors, ça marche dans certaines conditions, hein. je t'avoue que ouais, c'est ouais, ouais. moins, euh, moins confortable que 5-0. On se le cache pas, ouais, ouais. mais ça ah, peut être Je suis un peu deg, là, pour ce soir, parce que je pense qu'il y avait grave la place, mais... Euh... Il y avait ouais, la, la dernière game, c'était un peu dur. Ouais. C'était compliqué. C'est vrai qu'il y avait des possibilités. On a vu dans le premier match que, entre les euh, Shimu et, et Jimon, on, on a vu des, des top decks de l'espace. On a vu un 1 sur 25 qui est, qui est arrivé. Ouais. Des, des, voilà, des, des, des renversements de situation impensables. Donc euh, oui, c'est possible. Everything is possible uh, in Austin nowadays. Okay, thank you for the games, guys. Sorry, uh, Monsanto. Oh, I just said very true. I was I was saying you were cor you were correct. <laughs> Thanks. I, I like it. <laughs> and uh, see you next week. And uh, good luck for for the round four. Thank you. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. So. Uh, two series very different, I guess. And uh, we saw this uh, Bow Priest that has been um, uh, managed to uh, to win this first game. Uh, it was painful, but it was uh, a win and then very difficult to, to beat Yala with this Phylactery Warlock. Well, it draws very fast all the pieces of this con on combo. Um, and then the last, uh, I guess the last game was uh, unwinnable. That's very, very hard for for Maxi. Yeah, well, with the line he took, I think it was on. It was hard to win. Yeah, like, right. You don't expect the the war, Philactery Warlock to be ahead on board the whole game, but he just was. <laughs> yes. Yala never got behind on board that whole game against the Druid. That was that was quite a one of a kind type of game. <laughs> yes, unexpected. Okay, uh, so tomorrow. Two more matches of this run three of the Max League Six. It will be Otsuna versus Dead Draw and Drevo versus Regvam. It will be casted in French by Cool Kid. And I'll be back on Wednesday uh, for two more matches. Wairer versus Fred and Athanas, the uh, Greek players versus Pasqua. So two Brazilian players uh, and two European players. I'll be casting with Rain from. Argentina. Thank you, Monsanto, for the discuss tonight. <laughs> was very, very good. And uh, uh, anytime it, it's um, different games, different series we have. It's not uh, the the same, the same, uh, the same games are always uh, the as usual. It's uh, 
there we have Maxi bringing a warrior, bringing a Zola. And we saw uh, something uh, interesting, the phylactery that is not discarded. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I think competitive Hearthstone right now is super exciting to watch, to play, to cast, everything. It's it's just, the game has so many things that can happen that are, uh, for the viewers, for especially for the ones watching. For the ones playing, sometimes it can be frustrating, but yeah. some like insane things can happen in a turn that make it so much more exciting. Love it. Yeah. Thank you and see you. Thank and you. thank you to chat. Bye-bye.